Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Right after DACA repeal, Trump came out and said one thing that's setting Washington ablaze. The Justice Department said on Tuesday that it wanted to rescind the policy that on the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals or DACA. AG Sessions said on Tuesday that the Department of Homeland Security had agreed to get slowly due away with DACA after a six-month grace period. The responsibility rests with legislators, now. Trump is using DACA to make the legislature work harder again. Hopefully, now Congress will be able to help them and do it properly, Trump said today. I think it's going to work out very well. And long term, it's going to be the right solution. Trump then said on Twitter that he's looking forward to address immigration reform in a way that puts hardworking citizens of our country one RST. Thank God we have a president that cares about our citizens. Share this everywhere to scare Congress. If they don't do their job, we are coming for them and we will vote them out. Problem solved Lindsey Graham just announced a new plan for DACA that Trump loves. Unlike crusty old John McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham has at least been willing to work with President Trump despite their constant battles. Now he has turned up to his time of need and has a plan to fix the DACA situation for good. Lindsey Graham called on Congress to pass the DREAM Act before the end of September. Graham said Trump was 100% right to end DACA while still supporting Dreamers. President Trump challenged Congress earlier today to find a way to constitutionally save the Dreamers, and now they are finally taking real action. Lindsey Graham has since decided to team up with a top Democrat senator, Dick Durbin, to push a fair and bipartisan solution that will not hinge on a two-year renewal and an executive order from the president. Now the two have revived the actual DREAM Act which would grant actual amnesty to the 800,000 people affected instead of the half-assed DACA protection from Obama. With the president on their side and over 70 percent of Americans favoring their constitutional solution, there is a snowball's chance in hell this won't manage to work. Still, Congress does love finding impossible ways to accomplish nothing. Help get Lindsey Graham's proposal out everywhere and let him and Trump know that we are glad America is done with lawbreaking. Reporter asked Sarah Sanders about DACA decision, what she said next blew the room up. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee answered the questions on DACA at a press briefing today. She made one point very clear, though. It's not cold-hearted for the president to uphold the law. After Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced that the administration wanted an orderly wind-down, Sanders said that Congress should do their job while defending the president's compassion. It's not cold-hearted for the president to uphold the law. We're a nation of law and order and the day we start to ignore the fact that we are that, then we throw away everything that gives these people a reason to want to come to our country," Sanders said on Tuesday. If we stop becoming the country that we were envisioned to be, then we throw away what makes us special, which makes America unique. This president is not willing to do that, the previous administration was, this one isn't. Sanders said that the president wrestled back and forth with DACA. She said that it wasn't an easy decision. Share this if you agree with Trump's decision to make in DACA. It's time that we fix our immigration system. Democrats crying in West Wing after seeing what Jeff Sessions did after closing DACA. On Tuesday, Jeff Sessions announced that the Trump administration will end DACA, according to a source close to the White House. This is what Trump supporters wanted. Trump's executive branch released the following two points within its statement. The executive branch, through DACA, deliberately sought to achieve what the legislative branch specifically refused to authorize. 
such an open-ended circumvention of immigration laws was an unconstitutional exercise of authority. The nation must set and enforce a limit on how many immigrants we admit each year and that means all cannot be accepted. According to a source close to the White House, in one amazing press conference, Jeff Sessions lit up the entire institutional left, the mainstream media and probably caused a couple tears to hit the floor from some West Wing Democrats. Trump has finally ended the Obama Air Dreamer program that grants work permits to illegals that arrive in the country with their illegal parents or guardians. Share this if you are proud of our president and don't care one bit about the fact that half the nation is crying for the continuation of Obama's horrible legacy. Moments ago Jeff Sessions in Dadaka, then said 11 words that'll ruin Obama forever. Not many people remember this. Obama promised reporters 22 different times that he wouldn't pass amnesty through executive amnesty. I cannot pass amnesty through executive action. I am not a dictator. He then did anyway. He bypassed Congress and ignored the rule of law that is the foundation of our American democracy. Jeff Sessions just ended that moments ago. Attorney General Sessions, ending the previous administration's disrespect for the legislative process is an important first step. All immigration policies should serve the interest of the people of the United States, lawful immigrant and native-born alike. We are people of compassion and we are people of law. There is nothing compassionate about the failure to enforce immigration law. Enforcing the law saves lives protects communities and taxpayers, and prevents human suffering. The compassionate thing to do in this situation is to enforce the law. Share this if you agree. We are a nation of laws and we need to return to the laws that this country was founded on. Spread this far and wide to show support for our president. What this lawyer just admitted is the key to bringing the entire Mueller investigation down. Liberals might have to be some of the dumbest people on the face of the planet. They are boneheaded and full of spite and to top it all off they have an authoritarian streak, but this recent example of liberal stupidity takes the cake. This one will crush Mueller. Right after ending DACA, one of the attorneys that's working with Mueller threatened to prosecute the president. It's New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, who has previously sued Trump and currently works with Mueller. Here's the ticket, though. This is a huge conflict of interest. This guy needs to be fired from the Mueller investigation ASAP. Schneiderman just promised a new lawsuit today alongside Andrew Cuomo to protect New York State's dreamers. Here is their joint statement. If, President Trump, moves forward with this cruel action. New York State will sue to protect the Dreamers and the state's sovereign interest in the fair and equal application of the law, Cuomo said. Ending this policy represents an assault on the values that built this state and this nation. If this frivolous lawsuit goes forward, doesn't it mean that Schneiderman needs to be cut from Mueller's team? He can't be suing the president and investigating him. Share this absolutely everywhere, patriots. There hasn't been a peep of it on the media. Let's get this guy fired from the team so that he cannot take down our president. Trump is heartbroken look which one of his best friends just left the White House. One of President Trump's closest friends Keith Schiller is leaving the White House for a security business. The aide has worked for Trump since 1999 and is a very close confidant to the president. Keith Schiller is not well known. He is one of the president's closest confidants, according to Bloomberg. Schiller is leaving the White House to return to private security. He is going to be paid much more than his $165,000 government salary. Trump is supposedly crushed by his departure from the president. He is very close to the president. Schiller has worked with Trump for two decades and is the president's protector inside the West Wing. He's a confidant and friend, says Stuart Jolly. He is the national field director for the Trump campaign. He continued, Trump trusts Keith, 
and Keith trusts him. Trust is a really big deal at that level. According to Bloomberg, Schiller does Trump's dirty work. He was the one that told James Comey he was fired. Two weeks ago, Trump fired George Gidgetkos after his Phoenix rally and it was Schiller that delivered the news. Schiller has told friends that he felt pushed out by former Marine General John Kelly. He said that Kelly has tightened security in the Oval Office and doesn't let as many people get to the president. Schiller has said that it has become demoralizing. Share this if you wish Schiller the best of luck and are praying for our president as his allies leave his side. Amen.